Hey everyone, Zerangna here. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing all our live attacks in the round of 32 of the Clash of Events Cup. At the end of the video, I'll be also showing the last 16 teams in the tournament. So, after beating Darkest Muzan, we advance and are facing Blaze JP for a spot in the last 16. The winner of this match is going to be facing EWU Esports on the last 16 round. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So, uh, now let's go into the war against Blaze JP. Okay, so we are about to go in first, and I believe it's gonna be Nico going against Sturdum. So here we've got Nico going in with a mass e drag attack. He's bringing a nice column as well. The plan was to create a funnel at six and at three, and send the e drags directly into the town hall. Okay, so he puts his first dragon at six and another one at three. Puts the ice golem for the heroes, puts the couple of rages down and the rest of his army in with the slammer and the warden. Now they're getting rid of the enemy heroes which is good, now they're going to the town hall, the CC comes out, it's a lot of archers, uses the warden ability through that giga blast and he's uh, freezing that sweeper just to try to help the dragons push in. Still has two freezes and one rage left. He also has uh, his king ability, he's using it now. And he still has his RC left, however, those are golems in the center and the tornado trap just stalled his army too much. Using his last freeze for the scatter, bringing his RC, the single inferno is locked onto the RC very quickly and she's gonna go down. Single inferno goes down, but she goes down as well. Black Mind gets rid of the last E drag, so now it's just the warden up. So, uh, two star for us against Thedom. Nice try from Nico. And uh, yeah, the Tesla is gonna get rid of his warden. That's it, 73% 2 star. Okay, so now it's gonna be them coming against us. And Kun is coming against Maestro. So he's bringing a Yeti Smash with Hogs and a couple of heals in the jump spell. Let's see what he does. He starts his warning walk at 3 o'clock. I think he's going to try getting that town hall with his warden. One thing I've noticed, if you're doing a warden walk, you usually want to give him maybe a minute maximum. However, if the warden is getting rid of the town hall, sometimes you can give him a minute and a half and the, the yeti still have enough power to go through the base. But the time gets very tight if you leave him that long. So. Yeah, he's definitely going for the town hall. He's putting a few arches around just to get rid of some of the garbage around the base. Help with the cleanup. So now the warden is on the town hall. Doesn't use a rage. He does have three rages. Now he puts the siege barracks at 12. So he's going to be coming in from like 1.30, 2 o'clock. He does have six wall breakers, so he puts his ice golem, which dies very quickly to the trap, brings the yetis, sends a few more wall breakers in. Scatter show kills them. Sends a few more wall breakers in, puts a wrench down. That one wall breaker opens the wall and they all go in. Hogs from the Siege Barracks come out towards the single Inferno. And he puts an extra Hog Riders that he had in front of his RC to help her tank, but she gets distracted with the um, Defending King. The jump puts his main troops into the middle of the base. The Scatter Shot is uh, hitting them, but they're under the Warden ability, so that's fine. 
Now the Hawks with YLC are heading towards the Eagle. The Eagle goes down. He now has the Queen and the Warden in the center of the base. But all the Yetis and Bullets are gone. He still has quite a few Hawks and the RC alive. The single target is the Queen. She still has ability, so she's going to be able to survive that. Now the Hogs and the RC are going to the west, they're getting rid of the defenses there. The Queen did manage to get that single Inferno down, so now it, there's only point defenses. The RC is at a uh, third of the health, but now it uses the ability. Now there's only four defenses left. A couple of Hogs and the Queen still alive. Two defenses, now the mortar, the mortar goes down and now it's just clean up but he's got 9 seconds left and he still has that Bob King uh, platform up top and still a few buildings down south so this is going to be a 95% 2 star so a pretty high percentage so at the moment they've got us on percentage and we're tied on stars so now Maestro comes in against Toto He's bringing a hybrid with a couple of super wall breakers. He's funnel, he's queen, and the super wall breaker opens the first compartment. Now he gets rid of the whiz and the AD, so he's gonna want his queen to go in, get rid of the CC, possibly keep going straight and try to get rid of the eagle. So since he's out a super wall breaker, the super wall breaker goes to the other wall but it's still gonna be opening the, the compartment for her to move into the eagle the lava came out of the cc and she gets rid of it now she's got three expos hitting her ridges her up the queen runs around the uh, your ability goes up but she dies um he was a little bit slow on the freeze but um yeah the queen under the rage she just ran way past her healers and uh she ended up dying so now he puts the siege barracks around um, eight to create a bit of a funnel since the hybrid in at nine o'clock with the warden and the rc going towards the town hall trying to save that two star freezes the scatter and the town hall now the Tangle is activated, uses the Warden ability. Tangle goes down 40%. Siege Barrack Hawks are coming out as well. Uses the uh, last heal. So now they're going through the last cut of shot, so that's looking alright. Now he has a couple of Infernos left. If that Queen had gotten that Eagle and the uh, top compartment, I believe this could have been a triple. Um, Warden goes down, there's just a few hooks left, the tornado trap kills him and uh, now there's just a few miners with the P.E.K.K.A but the Eagle has targeted them and they're gonna be going down pretty quickly. So nice try by Maestro, that uh, Queen running around not getting healed, I think it was uh, what uh, stopped this uh, attack from being a 3 star but at least it's still a two star, 67%. So we're a little bit behind on percentage. Let's see what they do with a second uh, attack. So now we've got Sarah coming in against my base. And it's coming in with a hybrid with four healers and mainly minus only 11 hogs. Sends his uh, Cocaloons for the blimp. The blimp is gonna go all the way in and gonna get rid of the eagle, or at least that's the plan. CC comes out, Yetis do get rid of the eagle and the scatter shot as well. Uh, the multi inferno stays um, standing. So the CC now is moving to the corner where I think he's going to be putting his queen and get rid of um, the ice columns and the arches. Puts his healers down. Q 
Okay, so the king is at around 12, just creating the other side of the funnel. I believe he's going to be sending his hybrid directly into the town hall from around 10 o'clock. And there it goes, the miners go in. King goes towards the defending king. They start running around. Uses the first heal. He has another two heals and another rage. Which means that he just wants his queen to walk. She, he doesn't want her to charge in. So uh, they go into the town hall. Uses the warden ability, Tanko goes down, Scattershot is hitting the hybrid but they're still under the warden ability so he's doing nothing. Puts another heal down. He's looking pretty strong. The queen is getting rid of the defending RC and she's gonna stay on the outside clearing up some buildings. He only has a few minus in the center with the king. The single inferno targets his RC and the RC is gonna go down. Now a few hogs uh, keep going, they're gonna die very quickly, now it's only the queen with the minus on the outside and the king beating a wall on the inside. 35 seconds. So he's got plenty of minus to tank the single inferno. Uh, single Inferno targets the Warden and Single Inferno goes down before the Warden goes down. So now it's 15 seconds, this is now just a race against time. The first attack was a time fill, can this one be a time fill as well? So King is still alive, one and alive, Queen alive, and two seconds. And it's a two star, 98%. So thankfully the bay is defended. <laughs> we'll have to change a few things. Now we've got Starvey. Coming in against Kuhn and using a hybrid. He also has nine wall breakers, so let's see what he does. Uses that hole on the base to bring the queen in at three o'clock, already funneled her in, and puts a couple of wall breakers in under rage. They open that internal wall so that she can go into the eagle. Uh, King is tanking one of the expos, now the barbs are tanking the expos, which is really good for his queen. Sends wall one wall breaker in under rage and opens that wall as well. So now she's going to be able to go into that single inferno compartment and also get rid of the RC and the CC. He doesn't get a full pull, so, but he uses his poison. So now the queen gets rid of the expo and uh, has to freeze the single inferno again, but the single inferno goes down and now he gets the full pull of the CC. That's all going down. Now the Siege Barracks is at 12, so he's going to be sending his hybrid directly into the town hall. There he comes, sends the miners first to get rid of those outside buildings, and then he sends his hogs. That way his hogs don't run way past the miners, and they go and help with the town hall. Puts the heal down, <coughs> uses the warning ability as the town hall goes down, and also as the scatter shot is hitting his hybrid. So it's looking good at the moment, the queen is still alive, the single is now targeted onto the queen, she has already used her ability, so she's gonna go down. RC is following the hybrid, the hogs from the siege barracks come out, so they're gonna be able to tank for the RC on this single inferno at 9 o'clock. Now there's two single infernos left, double giant bomb gets rid of some of the miners there, he still has a few uh, miners, no more hogs. The miners are stuck with some skellies. RC uses her ability, misses that Tesla, sends the loon for the Tesla. And the queen is still going. The loon doesn't get rid of the Tesla. 29 seconds left. The RC is very low on health, she goes down. Now the warden is still up with a few miners, however there's still that Tesla at 9, I think that's going to be a problem with the time. 14 seconds. Warden is tanking that uh, Archer Tower, but yeah, 4 seconds, this is going to be also a time fail. 
two star, 95%, very nice try by um, Starvey. So we're still trailing behind. We've got three attacks. Now they're gonna come in with the third. And now it's Starvey defending. Hopefully we get another defense. So it puts the warden at three o'clock. He's coming in with a Yeti Bobat. Um, <coughs> he starts funneling at six as well. And he's bringing a blimp. So what I think he's gonna be doing is funnel the three o'clock compartment. Then try funneling as much as he can of the six o'clock compartment. He's got five wall breakers, so wall break them in into that single infernal compartment at around five, four or five. And then let the Yeti smash into the middle where the scatter shells the eagle are and get rid of the CC. In the meantime, I believe he's going to be sending the blimp behind his main army towards the town hall. So now that Warden has gotten rid of that uh, compartment, so he sends his king and the Yetis with the queen. The single is locked onto the king. King uses ability, goes down, uh, giant bomb, damages a bit of the troops. Sends his blimp, he has a rage, he uses the Warden ability that's going to save some of his troops from the scatter shot. There's no splash damage in the town hall, so he doesn't have to use his rage there. He still has five bats and three uh, free spells. His Yetis do smash through the center, so now he sends his RC at nine o'clock to get rid of that splash damage, and the bats are coming in. Tornado trap goes off, but doesn't catch any of the bats. Uh, the queen is tanking the wizard tower in the center, and he sends his ice golem for the wizard tower at the top. Now the only splash damage left after that wizard tower is the multi inferno, but now the queen is going towards it. Asi is still alive with ability. Queen still alive with her ability just used now, and he still had his three freezes. Now he used one. Now he's got another two. And uh, that's going to be a three star. So uh, sorry that I had to quit on that one. I just had to prepare for my own attack. So this is my own attack coming in uh, with the warden walk at 12. My plan was to have the warden um, creating the funnel at 12, having the king and the siege barracks creating a funnel at three. And then I bring three jumps to move through the base. Uh, I was planning on just using the first jump around the cannon and AD, then the next jump on top of the scatter and the next jump opening the infernal compartments and just smashing it with the yetis. So bring my ice golem with the yetis and the ball is with the queen. They start going in, put my first rage. I don't want to use the ability, the warden ability until they're getting hit by the scatter. So now that they're moving down, I put the next rage and I use the warden ability. I put the poison for the CC. The hooks from the siege barracks come out. And with the RC, they're just getting rid of all of those defenses um, on the outside, making sure my main army stays inside. The queen goes for the town hall and is going to drop it down. Then the last jump opens up the base at the back for the infernos and for my yetis to move everywhere. Put a few whizzes to the cell just to start um, clearing up some of those buildings. Uh, the RC is still alive. The queen still has her ability. I'm letting her uh, tank the archer tower so my RC doesn't get hit. Now I use her ability. There's only an archer tower and a cannon left. Plenty of troops. 15 seconds left of this raid. So uh, we ended up uh, replying with a 3-star to the 3-star, thankfully. And that still keep us tied, but they are way ahead of us on percentage. So now we've got Toto coming in against Nico. So this is the fourth attack. If they 2-star, then we're going to be tied on stars. 
if they three star then they still gonna be winning by one star so let's see how he does it he brings his uh queen walk around 730 getting rid of the defenses there since he's blimping for the eagle and single inferno catches a tornado a couple of black mines come out uses the freeze to try to save the blimp but the blimp doesn't reach its objective and that's gonna be wasted so the yetis end up getting one air defense and that's it so definitely not enough value he uses his super wall breaker to try to get the queen to go in but she doesn't and the uh, queen keeps walking he uses a couple of hogs to try to get rid of the, that single inferno the scatter shot is hitting those hogs the single inferno does go down CST starts coming out, there's just a few arches at the moment, so he hasn't had a full pull. Scatter Shot is just hitting his queen, has to use her ability. The king is trying to funnel her into that channel. Now the full CC comes out, it's all the arches and two ice golems, which are gonna be stalling her there for a little while. There's a minute 26 seconds left. He still hasn't started his hogs. 45%, so the tank hole is still not activated, but now he's bringing his hogs with the RC and the warden. All of the heroes are down there, so that's gonna be a lot of damage on his hogs. The tank hole gets activated, uses the warden ability, the hogs manage to bring the tank hole down. Queen is still alive and moving around, and she's gonna be able to get rid of the eagle. The eagle is targeting her at the moment, uses his last heal for his hogs. There's, um, the scatter shot is still hitting his main army, which is good. Now they don't have almost no health. The bomb tower is gonna finish the job, and the single inferno got rid of the queen. And now he only has his warden left. 74% at the moment. Just a couple of arches trying to get a few more buildings. 23 seconds left. The wizard, are, the wizard as well, but gets taken out by the archer tower. The single finally gets rid of the warden. He has another wizard, just two, getting rid of a few more buildings. And this is going to be a 2 star 81%. Nice defense by Nico. So at the moment we're tied on stars. 9-9 nine, nine after 4 attacks. Um, 4 minutes to go. Um, so we've got 1 attack left and they have an attack left. We're all going to be hitting at the same time the final 2 attacks. So tied on stars but they're winning over us with percentage so here is the stats we've got one three star each but we've got 83.8 percent .8 to the 93.5 percent so basically bless jp the only thing they need is a two star and the win so let's have a look at benji first i'll be showing you the replay of uh, bless jp's last attack at the end of this attack and we'll see how they went so basically they only need a two star with us we need a three star. If we don't three star, they only need a two star and they beat us. So we're putting, he's putting the queen uh, down around 10.30. Uses a super wall breaker so that she goes in towards that single inferno. Uses the loon to get rid of the mortar and make sure she funnels in. The single is on the queen so he's gonna have to freeze. Freezes the expos and the single inferno which is really good. Super will break her to open that wall as well and make sure the queen goes in. Now she's hitting the inferno so he freezes again the expos and the inferno. Rages her again. He's coming in with a hybrid. So now the AD is hitting his healers. And she's hitting the eagle. He tries sending a couple of hogs in to get rid of that AD. A couple of archers come out. The uh, archer towers are damaging his hog, so the AD stays up. And now he only has one healer left. That's not very good. 
Okay, so he sends minus a 12 to start getting rid of those buildings and move towards 3. Puts his king at 3 to create that outside funnel to make sure that his hybrid remains in that um, inside corridor towards the town hall. He also has his blimp to go in towards the town hall. Uses a queen ability. One healer is not enough to keep her alive. Uses his first heal, sends his blimp in, uses the warning ability just to make sure the blimp goes all the way into the town hall. A few more archers come out, out of the CC and a lava, which are going to be stalling the RC and the queen. He puts his rage down for his jetties in the center. They get rid of the town hall and a scatter shot and get rid of the other scatter shot. So both scatter shots have gotten rid of. He still has a few minus. He doesn't have any more spells left, but he still has his RC and queen. With a bit of health, uh, they don't have any abilities and he still has that single inferno left. So this is not looking like it's going to be a 3 star. So um, if Blaze JP got a 2 star or even a 3 star, we're out. So hopefully they didn't. So we keep going. 26 seconds. King and Queen get rid of the enemy King. Now the King is targeted by the single Inferno. He moves away. Mana is still going. It was a pretty strong attack. If the healers hadn't been targeted, I think this would have been a 3 star. <sighs> 3 seconds. 90% 2 star. So let's have a look at um, Bless JP's final attack. So it was Stardom. Coming in with uh, Lava Loon, he's got a wall breakers. So uses his Cocoloon and a blimp for the single inferno. Yetis come out, the uh, scatter shot is gonna be hitting those Yetis, so pretty much they only got those three defenses. Uses the Queen up north. So that created a bit of a funnel for the queen so that she can stay up north and move to, towards the right. Uses the RC to get rid of that first AD. So far so good. Uses the RC ability so that got rid of one of the sweepers. Now he puts his rage down to for the queen to get rid of the RC and also the warning statue is hitting her and it's uh, bringing her health down pretty quickly. Now, uh, finds the Tesla farm, uses the first wall breaker. Now the scatter shot is hitting the queen. Uses he another rage. Now the single is on the queen, so he freezes the the queen and the single inferno. The scatter shot is hitting his healers, so now he freezes the scatter shot and the Tesla. The healers have almost no life. The scatter shot retargets to the queen. One more shot by the scatter shot and the healers are gone. They are gone. The queen now is by herself. The king is creating a bit of a funnel on the right hand side. The CC comes out and his two eyes golems and the witch. The queen goes down. And uh, let's see what he does. So both scatter shots are still alive with the eagle. Now he sends his lava from three, not sure why that far away. Now he spams his loons from three to six with the other lava hound. Uses the first haste at six. He wants them to move on to the town hall, but his loons are going down very quickly. Uses the freeze for the scatter shot, but the eagle is just demolishing his loons. Uh, I don't think he's got any loons left and his warden is still there with, that, with ability. He uses the ability but he only has one loon. Um, he's got minions but the minions aren't going to be getting rid of the town hall. So I think the miracle has happened. They one star. They just needed a safe two star. Even a 50% two star and they would have won. But uh, it looks like they're going to one star. So the Archer Tower gets rid of the minions, the Warden goes down, and this is a 1 star 70%. So let's uh, see the final results. 
So we won 11-10. Uh, they did have us on percentage. So they had 88.8 and we had 85%. These were the bases. So number three is the one I three star. They three star Stavi. So we had one three star each. Uh, however, they did have that one star, and that's going to be putting us through to the next round. 85% to 88.8%. Uh, this were our team with Nico Benji, Maestro Stavi, myself, and they had Zara, Sterdam, Kunkun, and Toto. Uh, they did have two time fails. We had the uh, one time fail, but um, yeah, the one star is the one that hurt them. With this victory, we have advanced to the last 16 and now Resistance has two teams for this round. This is the list of all the other teams. Both Resi teams are in the lower bracket, so if we make it through, we will be facing each other in the semifinals, which will make a very interesting match. Good luck to all the teams left. Now to prepare for our match against EW Esports. And uh, hopefully, if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button. And I'll see you next time with more competitive content. See ya.